Splice and Splash. I've already shown you that, but let's just verify that we know where it is. And I know that this Ubuntu <laughs> happens to be installed at HD011. So I'm going to change that to HD011 if I have NumLock key. <laughs> One thing's annoying, NumLock is not on by default. I have to change that. I don't know, should I do that now? Why not? <laughs> System settings don't do, do that. Keyboard and mouse. So I am in root. NumLock on KDE startup. Turn on. Apply. So I'm not going to have that problem anymore. Thank you very much. I'm going to switch through again. Okay, so I've saved this. It's, so, this file is the way it should be. I, I know it worked from Red Hat, so I'm assuming it's going to work from Ubuntu. Uh, and there's some, some circumstances that may not necessarily be correct. I do want to save the changes. I don't need this. Now I need to go and I need to go into the shell and initiate the grub command. If you get that out of the way, and <laughs> they keep bringing that thing back underneath it. And the shell, I usually move the shell so I have it sitting on my um, desktop. It's I think it's under system or utilities. But no, it's under system and terminals. In this case, it could be on a different place. Another. All right, go. Okay, I'm not using the GUI because apparently the GUI isn't going to work may not work in some cases because you know why because that GUI may be updated without telling you that it, it now works with grub2 and they think everything's fine but in the meantime they've broken the grub2 the grub1 grub0 <laughs> functionality and if I can get real close here I don't even know if I get yeah okay maybe that's focused and yes I can type with one hand hopefully I just do the grub command not caps of course Rub. And it gives me this other prompt here. So I move my keyboard and spin the camera around till you're nauseous. Okay, there's two parts to this command, potentially in most cases. If you don't have a file in your, um, if I can show you in your boot grub. If you don't have a stage one and a stage two file, and I'm pretty damn sure I don't have one, then you have a third step to take. If you do have one, if you do have those, then you should be okay. Now, I have to, um, actually I gotta get out of this because I don't have those. And of course I have to put my mouse in the box to use it. It's, I think it's gruff. Well, I better check this. Where was my notes? Hopefully, I have them handy and I don't embarrass myself here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, as I look at my lap, <laughs> jiggle the camera around just enough to annoy you. I'm trying not to. Okay, so here's the command. It is. Drum roll, please. Get this. Okay, grub. I have to be outside of, outside the of the grub shell. I'm sorry, it's grub install. And I only type ins. Hit the tab key to complete it for me. And then I go um, root directory. equals, now in this case, it's a bit confusing. I Last time I did this and I put boot grub in there, I'm going to say it's boot. I'll, I'll be able to tell when it spits back at me. Boot of Dev, and this is SDA. <coughs> and 
Now it's going to probe my devices and scan and everything. Hopefully I've got this on here. It's seeable. Long enough you can figure out what the hell is happening. Okay. Now. The reason why it says it did not read correctly is because boot doesn't belong there. That's what I thought. I wasn't going to put it there, but uh, go. Uh, there, there is no boot boot subdirectory on this partition, therefore it was unable to write that. Otherwise, it would have. Now it's just going to sit here and, and think. Ah. No error reported. Now, let's look. And I only have one hard disk. It's saying it'll list. this. It's listing right here. I guess you can't see that. HD0 dev SDA. As, um... as um the only hard if you had more if I had more than one hard disk on here if I actually had a dev sdb I'd have to update my device.map file it's in boot grub okay now if we go up here to uh god get in there man boot grub now I should look here and I should find a stage 1 and a stage two file. There they are. In boot grub. I am ready to do the normal procedure that most people well, I'm not sure if I can say most people. If if you ended up updating from grub one to grub two and want to go back, you don't you might already have those two. So um used to be in most cases you didn't have to do this step. This was this was a new step for me, so I had to go find some advice. Okay, now you go into grub. And you gotta tell the system from which partition do I look at to uh, take the the information from menu list to put in the master boot record to update it. So I go root equals, and they want it in their language, not SDA. So it's HD zero. They want to know what partition in their language, not mine, in this case, yes, it is HD0, HD011. Now, after I press enter here, it, if everything's okay, it'll say file system type is ext3, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, but, last time it didn't do that. <laughs> I'm wondering why it didn't do it this time, anyway. Okay, so then all I gotta do is set up HD zero, yes. Press enter now. Yes, yes, yes. Second round, pay. Okay, I should say I, I can, I succeeded. That's it. That's how you move down, and then you just go quit. And you're out of there now. Um, hmm. This isn't gonna run after I boot out, of course. So. I will have to stop here, but I will guarantee you um, that I could do it. Well, I could I could take more video with my with my droid here, so I'll stop.